An astounding admission from the Attorney General Christian Porter today that the government doesn't have the numbers in Parliament to control the issue of asylum seekers. We'll go live to Canberra and our political reporter Fiona Will and Fee. Good morning. What has this prompted? Well, Davina, Christian Porter was claiming there could be a problem with the Medivac bill and he went on to say that the government doesn't have the numbers on the floor to do anything when it comes to this particular issue, which really is an extraordinary concession given historically a Prime Minister would call an election if they lost control of the floor. Uh, now, this started with Mr Porter claiming there is a legal loophole with the bill. Uh, he claims the government won't have the power to force asylum seekers back to Manus Island or Nauru if they are transferred for medical treatment or assessment. If they refuse to go back, they won't end up on mainland Australia. They'll remain on Christmas Island in detention. Uh, but the government's argument is that some might be willing to wait it out there in the hope that Labor would eventually pass laws to bring the asylum seekers to, um, to mainland Australia. Here is the Attorney General. The unfortunate reality is that on this particular issue of medical transfers from Nauru and Manus, what we now know is that our government is struggling to get the numbers on the floor of Parliament to have laws which we say are in the best interest of the Australian people. On what we've got to go on at the moment, uh, we don't think that there's any problem. Our bill talked about temporary transfers and that's the idea. Now, meantime, Australia's US Ambassador Joe Hockey is again the target of a Senate hearing this morning. Under the microscope is his relationship with corporate travel company Hello World. Not only is he mates with the owner, but he is a major shareholder. And he organised a meeting with embassy staff and a Hello World executive as the company was lobbying for government work. Today, we have learned that Mr Hockey didn't declare that he was a shareholder until weeks after that meeting. Labor is now raising questions over whether he should be able to stay in the job. In fact, one Labor source told us he has cooked his own goose. Davina? Fee, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.